IRAP is the International Road Assessment Program and our vision is a, a world free of high risk roads and we do that as a charity thanks to the generous donor support of the FIA Foundation and a lot of other partners around the world who really get behind our cause and that is to identify all the high risk roads around the world to develop the business case for their upgrade and then to ultimately see those roads upgraded to ribbon cut them and to celebrate safer, three star or better roads for, for everyone, whether that be pedestrians, for cyclists, for motorcyclists or for vehicle occupants. One of the really great things about IRAP's tools and the star rating is one, it's simple, it's everybody gets one star is a really dangerous road, five stars safe. Um, and that's the beauty of it because it transcends this sort of technical speak, the bureaucratic speak, the, the political stuff. And it says, this road does not reach a minimum three star standard. This road needs to be made safer. And then we can start talking details. When you look at the decade of action for road safety for the agenda 2030, they are 12 road safety targets. Two of them are directly for improving safety of the road infrastructure. The first one is for all new and rehabilitated roads, that all these roads should be at least three stars. And the second target that is directly related to safety of infrastructure is that all existing networks should now be freestyle better, at least for 75% of them. That is really the area of work of IRAP. And we have dedicated tools in for assessing, evaluating, monitoring and improving safety. For all our technical expertise and, and the models we've developed, some of the best people to talk to are the local communities who live beside some of these roads. Um, they, they've got this wealth of experience from generations living in a place and they often see the road change. And they were often the ones to come up with the practical solutions, like slow the trucks down that are going through my village. Give me a pedestrian crossing so that the, the trucks have to stop. Give me a sidewalk that I, I can walk on. These are people not engineers, not with you know, university training, just people who their lived life has had equipped them with sort of an understanding of, of the challenges and, and solutions. We are not only reducing the toll of deaths and serious injuries, but also we are making a big contribution to generate a big impact in the economy of the countries. We have to remember that the road safety and the deaths and the serious injuries created by, by the road accidents in different countries, on average, is between two and five percent of the GDP of each country. Essentially, for every dollar of donor funds, we're able to mobilise and make safer $2,000. So that sort of leverage is a fantastic achievement, all made possible because we work in a charitable way, where our free tools and resources are there for development banks to use, for governments to use, for mobility clubs to use, for everybody to really take advantage of one set of tools and to use that to solve our common problem worldwide.